Hello everyone and welcome back to Fablehame and Spiritfarer, our new wholesome journey as the successor to Charon, the ferryman of the dead. I totally remember what we were doing. Ah yes, we were setting sail for new lands, embarking on new journeys to have our friend Gwen, who seems to know Stella quite well, have her purchase something that we need. I believe it was linens. There's not a whole lot for us to do at the moment, so we're going to resume the great and noble task of fishing. I love fishing. I said this before, but I fish in every single game that there is fishing available in. For those curious, my favorites. Well, I do a lot of fishing in the World of Warcraft. But my favorites are Stardew Valley and my time at Portia. I did a video of my time at Portia a long time ago. Like before it came out of early access. And it was okay. It's an okay game. I think it takes a lot of dedication, which is not something I was interested in giving it at the time. <laughs> it's basically like a Harvest Moon game. So, you know, you put lots of time into it. You make people like you, you farm, you do some combat, you do some mining, upgrade the city and all that. I just wasn't into it. Unlike Spirit Fair, which I'm already super into. I love the aesthetics. And like I said, cat. <laughs> that automatically gets a thumbs up for me. And so far, it's just been a nice, chill, relaxing journey. Although speaking of so far, I want to apologize. Last episode, there was some crackling in the microphone, and I'm not sure why. I recorded Spirit Fair immediately after recording Erratus, which uh, that episode was a doozy. So it was nice to sit back and relax. But there was no crackling in the Erratus video, so I went on a hunch, a bit of a, a suspicion, followed my guts, fiddled with a few settings, added a filter here or there, and uh, we'll see if it has improved. I certainly hope it has, because I am a sucker for audio. And when something is wrong with the audio, I lose my mind. We are here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop on this island. Let us pay him a visit. Now, Gwen seems to know Stella from being alive. So I hope we get to learn more about their relationship. Or just more about Stella in general. Hi. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that fits our need. A garden. Maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Are those just citizens? And take a good look at this shrine, Stella. It is simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I am fairly certain you could use opals to activate it. But to get opals, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I am sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. We need one more. For double jump. Huh. Okay. So it's the Everlight that provides me the double jump? Can I get, like, wings or something from the Everlight? Oh, that would be cool. Look at all these lights. Is this Theodore? That has to be Theodore. Gwen was afraid that we would get swindled by the raccoon. So, uh, that's why she's here instead of me. There is Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look at what he's selling. Okay. Hi. Bye. The key for Hummingbird. Is that... That's half a million glim. Okay. Linen seeds, corn seeds, coffee bean seeds, carrot seeds, and turnip seeds. Um. Okay. What was that? These prices are out of control. I will not let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Absolutely. Good. Let us do this. Theodore. 
I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. That's a good insult. What? Madame, what is the meaning of this? My friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But I... I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I will not tolerate this behavior one more second. No more shenanigans, no more double crosses, just fair prices. I... Uh... Stop being dishonest at once, and next time I see you, I'll try to be nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But... Yes. Yes, of course. I promise you I will adjust my prices. I beg you, just please do not scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both like you could possibly join the upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, not the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You have people to jump inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house, but some other idiot has lost the key. Well, anyway, see ya. Upstairs crew forever. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to talk to you. We knew what was here. So here's the key. Oh, it's only 5,000 now. Okay. I can buy all of these. I should buy all of these. Oh. Okay. I hope I don't need this money for anyone else. If you've got everything you need, I will take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I shall meet you at the pier. Oh, I thought there was going to be something more. Apparently there's more that way. So he sells the key or we can just get the obols to upgrade a double jump and jump inhumanly high. Sounds good to me. I could talk to everyone. That's a thing I could do. Or I can go back to the boat. That seems mildly more interesting. It is too dark to navigate. It will be possible to do so again at noon. So she said each one of these... Oh. Let us plant a linen seed. Water. Wunderbar. Then we'll plant a corn seed, sure. I probably shouldn't have bought corn. I already have some corn. Well, I'll have more corn. I'll leave that empty just in case. You know, in case there's like quest progression or something. Because there might be. And now, we sleep. Until morning. Come, Daffodil. Aww. Aren't they adorable? I looked through the art book, and the art book has a lot of concept art in it. And let me just say... They had it right from the very beginning. They like knew where they were going with the characters and just refined it into the beauty that it is right now. Hello. Looks great. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My god and knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me... I believe it is time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the Spiritfarer, and Spiritfarers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I'll bet you like this one, if he is who I think he is. Go, let us sail. All right. We aren't at the free management yet. Oh, that's bad. That is not the map. 
But I'm sure we'll get there soon, DM. Thunderstorms. Oh, we gotta cross the thunderstorms. Barkensheim Creek. Hey, that's in my name. The channel's name, anyway. Funny insider story. I was interested. <laughs> oh, you need the corn. First things first. Hug. I'm fine. Okay. Popcorn. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. Hey, she is maximum happiness. The channel, obviously the name, Fableheim, it wasn't really what I meant to be my name, although I do respond to it, and I don't mind. Look at me, hiding here. The idea was that Fable, of course being the English word for a story, typically a fictional one, and Heim being the Norse, Germanic, whatever. What's the thing? Suffix? Whatever, you put it at the end of a word and it means home or homeland or home of or whatever. And the whole idea was that the channel, Fable Heim, would be the home of fables. And I would tell all sorts of stories through doing what I'm doing now. That was the idea. And I think it still kind of works. It's just now I'm also known as Fable, which is fine. One of my character, my main character's name, character name, is Santu, which is a Finnish, oddly enough, female name for, like, ancient story or something. Something like that. Fable, basically. So, it's not that I'm not used to it. My Satu in World of Warcraft is a shadow priest. She's very spoopy. Powers of the Void and all that. Very on par for what I do. Okay. Enough rambling. We are here in some place. Daffodil and I are going to cut down some more trees. Deforestation in the spirit realm. Okay, so I should actually do this properly. And not try and back and forth cheese it. Thank you. Wait, what? Oh, okay. We need a lot of this for crafting, so I'm I'm building. I'm down to just, you know, chop it all down. Bring it all down. Getting nine per one is pretty good. It's helpful that they only let you cut down the big ones. Because I imagine these small ones, if you could cut them down, would give you less. Oh, hi. Hey, look, he has a spirit ahead of him. Above him. It's a frog. Hmm. <laughs> the fact that I met him when I said, mm, I should go with that dark, with onion, bro. I can never remember what his name is. Sigmire? Oh, great. You're here. Listen. I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I have been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless it's just down there in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. Great. Is this when I learn how to dive? Yep. So can I go get the crates now? That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Oh, never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I will make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just go to your boat. Okay. Isn't that normally... A bit of a red flag. When someone tells you to do something, it's like, just don't think about it, just do it. Here we go. I am sure you'll need someone who could make repairs on your boat at some point. Oh, I have to actually... Okay. I need a new house then, right? 
Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker. Kicker. <laughs> you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. What? It's a frog. Bright lights. Hi. It's me, Stella. Your uncle Atul. What? Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. I cannot wait to see the sights. The sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. Now, I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Oh, wait a second. Is that... Uh... Excuse me. Oh, is he going to the farm? No. I have a funny... Uh, a story that reminded me of. It's kind of funny and kind of sad. Like all good stories. I knew it! And I'll tell it after we talk to him. That is a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you could catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Better fishing. Yes. So my... What would he even be? My great uncle. Whoa. Okay. My great uncle. My grandfather's brother. That's great uncle, right? I don't know. Anyway. He was sick most of his life. Since like the 1960s. And he recently passed away due to a lung tumor or something. Something very serious. And <laughs> I'm pretty tall. I had a growth spurt in high school, early high school, and I'm 6'3 now, and he used to always call me Shorty. And part of the reason was not only because I was taller than him, but his sons were all super tall, like taller than me. And I don't know how, because he was kind of short. They never stood a chance. You don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. All this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up, which reminds me, I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Perhaps you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Don't tell me that. I'll fish literally forever. Oh, Stella has a quest for me. I probably need to make another house, right? You've got two ovals. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? I'd try and add them there, if we're lucky. I might belch. <laughs> it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Can I make another house for you? That's my first question. Garden, kitchen, fields... You can only build one of these. Okay, so no, I can't. So we will set destination for Hummingbird, and I'll go fishing again. I told you, I love fishing. I could literally sit here all day and fish. Where is it? It's right here, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he likes berries, right? I should do that. He's probably my new spirit. He has to be my new uh, fairy because he gave me a noble. That was, by the way, what the R Greek, Romans, whichever one. I always get them confused. Whichever one believed in the River Styx. I think it was the Greeks. They believed that when someone died... I'll tell the story later, I guess. 
This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. Oh, I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you will get lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? <laughs> this world. Lightnings and bottles are a pretty handy resource. So come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. But don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. He's playing some music. Alright, where is it? Show me. That was fast. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Right here. Nice. I think I used all my bottles already. Let me go. Is it literally just on the upper level? Let me keep doing it. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. It's kind of hard to see with the rain effect, but I can see it. It's very loud as well. Maybe I should turn that down a little bit. I'm sure you're all thrilled to just hear lightning spam all over and over again. I have to be on this level. How long does this event last? Holy crap. Look at my uncle down there. He's jamming. Having the time of his life. Going down the ladder like a responsible adult. Alright. Now that you all enjoyed that, let's do that. Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it there for a second. Then why did you suggest it? You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush. You looked pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. El Capitan. Oh, you can both go in here. Give Uncle a hug. Wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I cannot get enough of it. I gave him berries because he said he likes berries. He likes everything. Oh, okay. Favorite food is question mark though. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out. So anyway, Karen and Obels. The I'm just gonna go with Greek. The Greeks believed that when someone died, they had to pay Karen a fee for crossing the river Styx, which was which separated the realms of life and death. And so they would put a currency, one currency, an obol or something else, inside the mouth of a dead person so that they could pay Karen and cross the river Styx. And if someone didn't have the currency to pay Karen, they would be damned to wander the beach for a hundred years or so before they could cross the river. Or something like that. Give me double jump. This is totally making it in the thumbnail. That is 100% thumbnail material. Oh, look at me. While in the air, press A to double jump again. Wait, was that it? Do I not get any more power-ups? Okay, great. So now I can go join the upstairs crew. Screw you, raccoon. Wait, is that Stella? Hey, Gwen. Hi. I'm browsing for some fiber. Great. Good job. You made it. Wicked booze getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You will be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. I totally lost his voice. Hi, sheep. I was going for, like, the... 
the skater bro dude thing at first. And it fit really well, and then I lost it. Which, to be fair, is not unsurprising. <laughs> Daffodil being in the water is still amazing. Hi. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. That cat, he looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes, it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there? At sea? You've came to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let us get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. What? Did I already find another spirit? <laughs> Upstairs crew forever! Excuse me? What am I doing in here? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh, that is what I'm doing. Linen seeds. Huh. Yes, young person, can I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full-service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. I don't have a full service kitchen. I do have a kitchen though. Wait, does that mean I should be talking to everyone? I simply adore your hat. All useless items. <laughs> I need me a hat like yours. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. What did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? I am not sick. I am okay. There's actually a... Would it be considered a mental illness? Where, like, if you start thinking about things, symptoms you might have, you can actually start developing them? Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary? Or Margaret? It's Missy. Wait, no. Eshi. Wait, don't tell me. It's... Oh, shoot. I'll get it. Someday. No, you won't. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. How rude. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say, rude. Aha! I found you. Open. The Vibrant Necklace. What do I do with that? What? Gather the resources, then return to Albert's... Maple Plank. Huh. Bigger boat. Oh, I could do this. I can upgrade my blueprint table. That's pretty nifty. Good day to you, and good day to you, sir and or madam. Oh, there's a chest in there. Just walk into someone's house and grab the chest. That reminds me of... Um, I hated Battle for Azeroth, but it reminds me of the turtles, the tortoise things. Tortolans. They didn't recognize the mortal races, so they are like, Greetings, sir and or ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I hope my next game is ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level three rogue ability eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and auto crit on prone cannot be defeated, am I right? That is my type of NPC. A good day to you. Good day to you, sir and or madam. I'm just going to say that every time I can't tell. More treasure. All right, let's head back. Whoever you may be, mysterious individual that knows me. Something needs water. Let me go in. I can't. Over here, little one. Ah, Stella. All this air, all this open space. Yes, I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I am flowering already. What are you? 
It's a snack. Right. It's a snack. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Who are you? Well, well. Hmm, I could go for an amuse bouch. A what? You can have a hug. I don't know what amuse bouch is, but there's a hug instead. Is hungry. So she loves comfort food. Does she dislike this? Hmm. No, sorry, Stella. You know, I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I have tried, but I just cannot. Okay, so she doesn't. I can make popcorn real fast, though. Oops. It is duper fast. I might as well make... They don't seem to have, like, a raw or a decay time, so I can just, you know, infinitely make them. I'll save the berries for my uncle, who loves berries. All right. Good morning, Stella. Is it already morning? That's like in real life. Please. I cannot eat the same thing twice. Right, 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 right. Uh. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, let's go find you. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. It is wake-up time. Wakey-wakey. Am I supposed to go back to Albert? Do they know what I'm supposed to do yet? I do have a quest. Cha-cha! Corn seeds. I used all my corn. If I just got a bunch, it's fine. I forgot the stipulation that Gwen can't eat the same thing in a row. Now, about the garden. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I have been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. It will be called Caring for Plants from A to Zalia. Hmm, yeah, that doesn't sound ring as good one set out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more. Perhaps. Ugh. Let's see what this objective is. Build a garden. This is apparently not a garden. Okay. It's a field. We're almost there. What do you like? Do you... Well, first a hug. Ah, you are sweet. Sorry, I'm not attuned yet. To what? Oh, thank you, but I am not hungry right now. Okay. The mystery grows. But our food is ready for good old Gwen. Squid skewer. Guess we'll cook this. You know, for a small thing, it has a surprisingly long cook time. Hey, bro. Is hungry. Are you always hungry? Oh, boy. I just love food. Keep them coming. I cannot get enough of it. Okay. By the way, I'm gonna lose voices, so I'm up. I apologize. There you go. Ha! This is absolutely exquisite. Wait, why are you holding a cake? Worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I have been to, and I have been in those a lot. Thank you very much. All right. Great. She is very happy. She harvests fiber for me. Okay. Fantastic. So I need to build a garden. Looks like I can do that. I kind of want to build it directly on top of the field. This is funny, isn't it? I want to build it on the field. Consistency. All right. I need more bottles. How do I get those? Hi, I did your thing. How do you climb the ladder as a snack? 
That's the real question here. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well then, that just... That makes us just about ready to start the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They will be important. Such as... A carrot. And a turnip. One of each. Bessie. And Bessie. For both of you. Let us see now. Oh. Can I leave this? Yeah. I wonder if it can burn. Shrimp cocktail. Oh. I am sure... What happens if I cook a maple log? I don't know, but we're going to find out. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you probably already noticed. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living things. You see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers, and as, it, as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing that piece to your crops. I do love science. Hold Y to play the guitar. Uh, this is my inventory. Video game. Oh, okay. Well, you have a... Sorry, I'm translating the <laughs> the buttons to my controller. I am using a DualShock, by the way. I hate the Xbox controllers, and I love the DualShock, so. Four, I don't have a five. It's like Guitar Hero, but easy here. I played a lot of Guitar Hero back in the day, so I shouldn't mess this up. Wait, is that? It's actually growing. Quite incredible. So can I literally just sit here and force grow the plants? Is that what this game is teaching me right now? I have solved our world's incoming food problem. We just hire musicians to play at the crops. All right. Quite incredible. Let me talk to you. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word about this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. They might be a help if they are in a good mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me ever since I arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. Thank you for the obel. What do I get for this? This is the real question. Coal. Oh. This isn't going to turn into uh, Stardew Valley where you have like a bazillion coal maker things, is it? Hold X to pull. Oh. Good job, Stella. Stella is so adorable. I love her. And I feel like saying, just like with Haven, if anything happens to her, I've had Stella for one day, and if anything happens to her, I will kill everyone in this room and myself. It's hard to tell if you can joke about stuff like that, but that's an actual quote from The Office. Don't get mad at me, YouTube. 
Wait, is this done? Stella. Did that just finish? I think it did. Hello. You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. Do you have to take care of these passengers now? They'll be the ones testing your patience. Not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is the ideal scenario for any of us. Patience is getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You have been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it is time to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I'd see something more of an alpine flair. See, even I could be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushing on this, but I would be delighted if you could build it for me. Great. Fantastic. New request, Usonia 1. What? Poached fruit. Hi. Oh, no. My chakras are not aligned yet. You would say that. I've been having unsettling dreams. Stella, I do not want to disturb you with this, but the last several weeks I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and of menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they've been much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions, and furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I have been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Okay. Hi, bro. Uncle. Jeez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship with you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now, running your own ship. Helping out these stranded souls, it really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. <laughs> I'll try and make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Is hungry, of course you are. Here. Oh, what's this? Something else, please. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I cannot get enough of it. Uh, I feel like... Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Yeah, I feel like the snack would like that. I'm fine, thank you. Are you hungry yet? No. Okay. So Gwen likes comfort food and the fine dining food. Uncle likes literally anything, and I'm still not sure on the snack. The snack ate my berries, but I have a feeling I'm going to need to cook a lot of food. Like, this thing is going to have to be constantly churning out food, I think. Which just put a bit of a dampening on the whole fishing plan that I had. But I think... We'll call it there for today. We have brought on two more passengers to our ship. We have begun to ferry our uncle and someone who we seem to know, question mark? But not quite sure about it just yet. We have improved our fishing skills. I'm not quite sure how to read this entirely. And hopefully we can use them to acquire the greatest beast of the sea. Whatever that may be. Is it Moby Dick? Is it a koala cat? I don't know. Koala cat, by the way, was is the biggest fish in Harvest Moon. I loved catching them. Settling down on a fall evening as night descends in the rain. Catching a koala cat. Selling it for untold amounts of money. My rod almost snaps. I was kind of hoping this would be a little easier. Not gonna lie. A cod. All that for a cod. But thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Spiritfarer, of course, continues every other day at midnight CST. And I hope 
that you enjoy the journey alongside of Stella, Daffodil, and myself. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.